goes to the World Cup Finals in Mexico City come October. More on that coming up in just a few moments. But first, let's set the stage now for the mixed team bronze medal match to get the afternoon started off. And this match will pit Japan against Chinese Taipei. Japan first out of the tunnel. Japan, the team that qualified fourth this week here in Medellin, Colombia. And it is an experienced squad that comes out of that tunnel. Japan beating France this week 6-2 before losing to Korea 5-3 in the semifinals. And both of these archers with Olympic experience and Olympic success. The duo of Kawanaka Kaori and Furukawa Takaharu. Kawanaka Kaori, 24 years old, on your left, ranked 19th in the world. And her partner is Furukawa Takaharu, 31 years of age, ranked 8th in the world, was ranked as high as 4th just one year ago. So very experienced team, and as I mentioned, a team that has Olympic experience. Today they'll be up against a squad from Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei, second after qualifying this week, Chinese Taipei scoring a 6-0 quarterfinal win over Colombia before losing to China 6-2 in the semifinals. And this will be a rematch from stage two in Antalya this summer, Japan defeating Chinese Taipei on Konialti Beach. So Tanya Ting and Wei Chun Heng would love to get some payback here today. Tanya Ting. On the left, 21 years of age, 31st in the world, and coming off a team gold medal performance this morning. And she'll be paired up with Wei Chung Heng, who's 21 years old, a 106th in the world, his highest world ranking to date. So it should be interesting to see how this goes after Japan beat Chinese Taipei in Antalya. Of course, that was then, this is now. Definitely. Uh, past is the past. All you've got to focus on is right now. Uh, Japan have got a very strong team this afternoon, but like you said earlier, Chinese Taipei uh, and the women's team, they've had the experience on the field this morning to take it to a winning the gold medal match. Um, hopefully that experience will help them this afternoon. How much does it help you to have been out before? Uh, I have, I've been in the finals uh, twice uh, at China last year. Uh, it was great experience to be out there in the morning to see how the wind and the weather was behaving for my individual match in the afternoon, so it was a great help. You see how it affects the arrows. Definitely. You know how to adjust quicker. So we begin with Chinese Taipei on target number two, and this is Tanya Ting, and she starts off with a 10. That's a great start. Picking up where she left off this morning. This will be the first shot of the day for Wei Chun Heng, the 21-year-old. That's just a little bit higher, hidden behind the first arrow. So a strong start for Chinese Taipei as Kawanaka Kaori, a team bronze medalist from the Olympics in London in 2012, begins her day with a nine. Furukawa Takaharu. So, a pair of nines. Seems like the three shooters that didn't compete this morning have all gone a little bit higher. Maybe that's the advantage that uh, the female shooter from Chinese Taipei has at the moment. Tanya Ting right back up there. Just a little bit to the right. But still a great height compared to the other three shots. Tanya Ting, just 21 years of age, as is her partner, Wei Chung Heng. And it leaks out of the red ring for an eight. So that opens the door a little bit for Japan here. Two safe shots in the gold, two nines. They tie the set and split the points. There's another one in the gold rings. And actually an opportunity for Furukawa Takaharu to secure this first set for Japan. If 
he can put it in the middle of the target and it's in the nine ring. So there is that tie in the split that you were talking about, Taylor. Okay. Let's, let's, if you can't take the win, you can always go for the tie. So you always get at least some points on the board. Played a little bit safe. Yeah. Kind of like laying up in golf. <laughs> do a nice centering shot and then a nice easy onto the green from there. How much do you learn in that first set when you're out there? I mean, that, that really gives you a lot of the information you're going to need and use for the rest of the match, right? Definitely. Uh, from the, Even from the very first shot, um, you see how the wind is performing at that point in time. You see how uh, the arrow is affected by everything, and you make your adjustments from there. Um, you just need to make sure that that first shot you do is strong, is solid, and make sure you make no mistakes. Because otherwise, if you make a mistake and it doesn't go in the middle, then you don't know why it went there, mm -hmm. whether it was you or whether the environment. So you've wasted that shot. If you can get that first shot off strong and clean, make your adjustment from there, and then you should be able to uh, get somewhere close to the middle in your next shot. So a process of elimination. Definitely. So just about set to begin the second set of the mixed team bronze medal match here at stage four of the Archery World Cup Tour 2015 in sun-splashed Medellin, Colombia. Beautiful day, beautiful weather. A little bit warm on the warm side for September. But great conditions and great shooting by Tanya Ting. She has been on her game all day long. Wei Chun Heng making his second appearance in a World Cup event and shooting well. So he has made his adjustment from the first two shots where he did go a little bit high. Back to back nines for Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei trying to pick up its second medal of the day. As Kawanaka Kaori draws it back and drills it. That's a lovely shot right there. Kawanaka Kaori. Who already has a mixed team silver medal that she won in Shanghai at the beginning of the season. Picked up a mixed team bronze and a team gold medal in Antalya as well. And she and Furukawa Takaharu now have a one point advantage here in the second set. Tanya Ting rising and raising the level of her game. Very consistent grouping from all four of her shots so far. It's been really great to see. You can see the confidence in her face. Definitely. She knows what she's there to do. She's got the experience from this morning. And that is unfortunate. Maybe Meanwhile, it's, uh, the learning curve a little bit steeper for uh, Wei Chun Heng. Did you say this was his first? This is his second his World second Cup World event. Cup event? His is first it? final? His only other World Cup event was a stage two in Antalya. So this is his second appearance on this stage. Does not have the experience of a Furukawa Takaharu. Not quite, but he'll get there with time. So the second set goes to Japan as they win by a comfortable margin, pick up two points and take a three to one lead in this match. First to five is the winner. Along with Taylor Worth from Australia, I'm Carl Arkey. Hope you're enjoying our live shot by shot coverage here on World Archery TV as we look at Furukawa Takaharu, who has had great, great success. He was seventh at the World Cup Finals in Tokyo just weeks after winning the silver medal in London at the Olympic Games. In fact, has been to three Olympiads, Athens, Beijing, London. That's the kind of experience the Chinese Taipei is up against right now. And that's just fantastic. Uh, it's just, just goes to show the, the amount of depth and the, the strength that Japan has in archery. Um, we had the pleasure of having a camp with them at the end of last year in Australia when they came out to see us. It was quite warm, but uh, they handled themselves really well in the heat and it was just really great to you know, communicate back and forth and see training tips and just 
they're just really great human beings to talk to and hang out with. As I watch uh, Mr. Furukawa down through the years, has great confidence, fears no one, isn't backing down from anybody. In fact, I think he embraces the challenge of going up against the greatest in this sport. Definitely. He loves the challenge. He loves shooting well against the, the top opponents. And he's, he's really down to earth. He's got a great sense of humor as well. As does Kawanaka Kaori, who always seems to have a smile on her face, except when she's drawing the bow back. The bow string, I should say. Uh, very focused. So down 3-1, Tanya Ting will lead off her Chinese Taipei. She has been strong today, and she Another remains ten. strong. Perfecto. Needs some help from her partner. Solid nine for Wei Chun Heng, who averages 9.2 shots per arrow. Now, Ms. Kawanaka. We won a team silver medal in Antalya on Coney Alti Beach two years ago. <laughs> Almost got it in that 10 ring. So now, Furukawa Takaharu the bronze medalist at the World Championships in Copenhagen this summer. Another nine. Very consistent in that sort of uh, top right sort of quadrant of the goal. It's just, just out of the 10 ring, but near enough. Tan Yanting. That's a little bit wayward. Could be because of the wind. It is showing a little bit of a, a right to left breeze at the moment. It faded left on her. Yeah. Hey. Mr. Wei with a good shot. Golden moment for him. It's a great recovery. This is uh, why it's so crucial to have uh, great shots in a, in a team event. And it puts some pressure on Japan. Kawanaka Kaori. Sets up her teammate. 10 right here, they split the set, split the points, and Japan would maintain. But it's not enough to win the match at this point. No. They needed two tens on those last two shots. Two seconds to go on the clock, and it's an eight. It's an eight, and so Chinese Taipei is back in business. Wow, I would not have expected that from uh, Mr. Takaharu. So Furukawa Takaharu, comes up with an eight on his last shot of the third set. And so a seesaw battle, roller coaster battle here in El Parque Norte, which is an amusement park on the north end of the downtown area of Medellin, Colombia. So the roller coaster ride, we'll see if it continues now. Chinese Taipei and Japan split the first set. Then it was Japan taking the next set to go ahead three to one and Chinese Taipei came back. Wins the third set, and that's where we are right now, tied up at three apiece. And this next set could determine the winner of this bronze medal match. It'll either determine the winner, uh, or we'll go to a shoot-off, where uh, each archer from each team shoots one arrow each. And uh, the closest to the center, uh, if it's a tied score, wins. But uh, if there's not a tied score at the end of those four shots, then, then a winner is determined. We had one shoot off this morning. That was in the women's bronze medal match, women's team bronze medal match, which the United States won coming from four down, four nothing to win five four in a shoot off. So we shall see what we shall see here in the mixed team bronze medal match. Earlier this year in Shanghai, it was Mexico taking a tiebreaker from China to win the bronze medal in China. In Antalya, Japan defeated Chinese Taipei. This is the rematch. And then in Poland last month, it was Belarus beating France, Anton Prilipov. And Kuznetsova teaming up to win the bronze medal there. Who will win the bronze medal in Medellin? Nine to start off for Tanya Ting. 
I do have to say, being a huge Oakley fan as well, the lenses he's actually wearing today are perfect for these conditions. Really bright sunlight. They're one of my favorites. We'll get back to that in just a second. I want to focus on Japan right now, but I want to get back to your point with Chinese Taipei is taking its next two shots. Kawanaka Kaori going without glasses. Looking 70 meters down range, and it's a nine. Mr. Furukawa put up an eight with his last shot of the third set. Ties the score at 18. Now talk about those glasses a little bit and what advantage they have. Uh, for me, they're a, a great wraparound in the lens. It gives you great coverage, doesn't let a lot of light in from the peripherals, but it also enhances the light. So you see really bright colors. So you can see that the targets are quite dark hidden around the, mm -hmm. the archway. It'll actually help brighten the gold and the red so you, you can uh, potentially see more than someone without glasses. So Mr. Wei should have greater definition. That being said, it's an eight. The, the shot before that, is an eight liner. So right now, Japan is poised to put this match away right here. So there's a nine. And an eight will secure the win. I think nine will secure the win. If uh, the eight star Depending by Chinese Taipei is star. upgraded, then that could go to a shoot off. Two. So there's the nine. So it looks as though Japan has wrapped it up. Furukawa Takaharu and Kawanaka Kaori, the two very experienced archers from Japan, teaming up and wrapping up a bronze medal victory for. Japan over Chinese Taipei. Great shooting by all four of these archers this afternoon, especially with the wind being as tricky as it is. More of a crosswind now than anything else. So Japan wins it five to three after splitting the first set going.